Hero Kiyoshi spent some months simply is out of control with her tight clothes and her big booty. Let's take a look. Um, dress with little shorts on, bikini tops that show her chest. I have the right to dress the way I want. I think my mom dresses as a teenager to get attention. I am beautiful. I am amazing. I am gorgeous. I am all of that in one package. My mom makes me feel bad on how I look because I'm head to set and she has a pretty nice shape. Between you and your mom? It always has been this way. My mom dressed as if she's a teenager. And when I try to tell her about how she dresses, she don't do nothing but put me down about my size. What is the thing that frustrates you most about dealing with your mom? The thing is, I have an eight year old, and he loves his grandma. But every time she's down to where I stay, and he want to go out and do things with her like he does for me. But he embarrassed of her. He said she needs to put on clothes. He like, Ma, I don't want to go nowhere with her like that. She needs to start putting on some clothes. She has her butt showing and all this and other. But it frustrates me and makes me mad because of how my baby gets his grandmother. Right. Let's bring Cynthia out. Cynthia, come on out. Hey, so, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Are you hearing what your daughter's saying? I do hear my daughter. that you're tearing her down. Why is that? I am not tearing my daughter down. I just feel like I watch TV and I know what the doctors say about being obese. And I feel that she needs to let some of that go. Not saying she has to dress like me or nothing like that, but she needs to kind of lose some of that okay. because of her health. Talk to me about your early relationship with your daughter. How was that like when you guys, when she was younger? Well, to be honest, when uh, my children was younger, uh, my younger years, I ended up getting in some trouble. So my mother and my sister pretty much helped raise my children. Okay. And then when I got myself together or whatever, it's like my three sons, they still say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. But she was more like, yeah, no, nah, uh-huh. So it's like she rebelled because I was away. Okay. And now you are hot mom. That's right. And that's that's who you want to be. Yes. Scott, we got uh, we got some pictures, right? Let's go let's go to the pictures. Check them out. <laughs> so when was this taken? Uh, I was on the Venice Beach in California. I think that's everybody's favorite picture right there. <laughs> okay. But Talk I to can me tell about you, mom. you yeah. know, uh, like earlier in my years. I was almost that size, you know, but I didn't let nobody tell me nothing or whatever. I just worked on me. But I feel like if I'm hot, I'm hot. If I get big as this chair or whatever, then I get somewhere and sit down. But until then, I'm going to work what I have. Okay. Talk to me about what, if you were going out to the grocery store, tell me what the outfit would be and what you would pick out to go to the grocery store. Some little bit of booty shorts and a little shirt. She call them booty shorts, but my booty don't be out. You know, they just be, look at that. <laughs> Are you hearing what she's saying about your grandson and what he says about wanting to go out with you? Well, it's like this. I have 11 grandchildren, and all of them don't feel the same way. You know, most of them feel their grandmama is beautiful. She's sexy. I, my granddaughter, oh, I can't wait till I get older, you know, which I wouldn't want her to wear some of the stuff I wear, but just to hear her want to be like her grandmother, you know. And I think the balance that I'm, I'm getting, and I, I got it from the first story, and I'm getting it from you, 
is that you guys really feel like now's my time. Like now Pretty is my much. time and, that, and that's what it is and I'm not going to let anybody take me from my time. Well, I would say that's pretty much the uh, deal, but at the same time, what you see is what I have. It's not that I have no money to go out and buy church clothes, as I call them. But, you know, if I had money and was able to go on a shopping spree, I might would tone it down a little bit, but, you know, I can't. So I got the world what I have. But you bought those clothes. I bought them at the time, but I'm just saying, if she want me to change overnight, she gonna have to go do some shopping. <laughs> you know. Let's, let's talk about your daughter for a second. Okay. How do you think it makes her feel when you tell her that she's fat? Actually, I don't tell her that she's fat. I tell her that she needs to lose a little of that weight. Because, like I said, at the end of the day, she calls me from the hospital saying that her blood pressure is high and we have diabetes in our family and I know that can also cause that. So I'm more concerned about that. And like I say, at the end of the day, she needs to be more concerned about that than this. Are you, is that the message you're hearing when, she's, when she talks to you like that? No. So what are you hearing? Said. I said, Mama, I said, why don't you put on a little more clothes? She said, clothes don't have an um, a age on it. And it that's right, at the end of the price. day, when you go to the stores, the only clothes have an age on it is zero to six months. <laughs> After that, they are sizes and prices. What, what, I'm hearing, what I'm hearing on both sides of, of the story is, you feel like your mom tears you down. Right? Yes. What I'm hearing from your mom is concern, but you're hearing it a different way. Right? So what I'm hoping to get to is hopefully finding a way that you both can speak to each other without tearing each other down. And I would love for that to happen. Like I say, I have four kids and she's my only daughter. And I love her and I would like us to be closer than, you know, instead of apart. We're going to dig in a little deeper and find out how these two can talk to each other. Don't go nowhere, all right? Coming up. Don't get upset with me because I know how to eat. She always on Facebook posting pictures of all these big old dinners that she done cooked. And later. How can we have people that are like, wow, this is really weird since the day she was born. She came out with that.